I'm having a go at making myself a picaroon, which is a tool I've seen on YouTube. I started off with a high tensile bolt. This is actually tend up nine steel, so it's really good stuff. Uh, I've taken the temper out of it by heating it, turned it into a taper on the lathe, and then uh, heated it again to soften it and bent it into this shape. A lot of the ones I've seen, people do something similar to this and just attach it to the end of a wooden handle. But it seemed to me it would be nice to have a bit more weight down at the business end. I thought the tool might uh, feel a bit better in use. I bought some nice 36 inch axe handles made of hickory. Got them very cheaply. So I thought I'd use one of those for this job. Um, obviously then I need to attach this to this. And the way I've decided to do it is to make a metal sleeve and then I can weld that bolt on. So the sleeve I've actually tapered two ways. First of all it tapers this way which stops it sliding too far up the handle. But I've also tapered it the other way so it's actually wider at the end. Now when that's inserted and I spread the wedge it's very much like a pickaxe handle. It should really hold that tightly and stop it coming off. My first attempt was to bend this steel by heating it, but I just didn't have the facilities to get it hot enough. So I've ended up welding the whole thing, more or less a rectangular shape. But I was able to cold bend the sides slightly to make it fit better. Anyway, the whole thing fits quite nicely. And that's fitting nice and closely all the way around. And by the time I wedge that, it'll be very tight in there as well. All I need to do now is finish off these welds and maybe tidy these up a little bit. I'll weld the bolt on there. I think that should work quite nicely. It feels like it's got a decent weight on the end of it now, it swings nicely. So I'll let you know how it goes. I've now finished welding the sleeve and welded the spike on. I want to harden and temper the spike. The sleeve is only mild steel so that won't harden. So the first thing is to get the uh, whole thing red hot and quench it. cleaned up after it's been hardened. The spike is hard, the fire won't touch it. The sleeve is still soft being mild steel. The idea is now I'll heat the whole thing until it's a nice blue. I'll make for a nice tough piece of steel, not too hard. This doesn't need to be hard really because it's not uh, going to be a cutting tool. But it does need to be tough because there's a chance of this spike snapping. The easiest thing would be to heat this in an oven, bring it up to that temperature and hold it for maybe 5-10 minutes. But the domestic oven just doesn't get hot enough. Well this is all cooled off now. It hasn't really turned the nice blue colour I wanted. It seemed to go straight from the lighter colours straight through to grey. So it was a bit disappointing. Certainly taken the hardness out of it. So the main thing is it's not going to shatter when I'm using it. Um, hopefully it'll be strong enough. Time will tell. I'm using a wooden block on the floor. I've made a small cutout so the handle can sit in it. And I can set the handle in the vise. 
Now I can really hammer the metal part on and hopefully it won't do any damage to the handle. This handle's been in the uh, living room for a few nights. It's dried right out. Uh, it doesn't even register on the moisture meter now. The idea is that uh, it can only get wetter or swell up a little bit and make it a tighter fit. So I'm just mixing some glue for the wedge. Right, the moment of truth. Just going to make a pencil line on here. That'll help me judge when it's stopped moving on. I previously measured the wedge so I know it's very near the bottom of the cuff now. That's filling the eye and the uh, sleeve quite nicely. I'm going to leave a little bit of the handle projecting at the end. Okay, there's the head mounted. It's been cleaned up with a wire brush. I'm trying to decide whether to give it some paint. Being mild steel it will rust very easily. So, although I don't really like the idea of painting it, I think perhaps I'll have to. But I put a little paint on the end. All it needs now is some linseed oil on the handle. That's given me some pleasure making this. I think it will be a very useful tool. So much nicer than just going out and spending money to buy something somebody else has made. I hope you feel the same. That rag is uh, dangerous now, that could spontaneously combust, so I'll dispose of that straight into the log burner where it won't do any harm. That's really quite a lightweight tool. Balances about there. This turn in the handle works really well when you're swinging it. This means it's not going to slip. Sort of tool that can be used one-handed. Well, I look forward to giving it a go.